Okay, uh, I've had a number of questions about the um, uh, the insulin syringe and the amount to be drawn up first, and um, and and how you answer that question. So the first thing is draw a syringe. This is the plunger end. This is the needle end. Um, the question will say, um, I'm just going to make up some numbers. Let's say um, 20 units of regular, and then. Um, uh, let's just say uh, 40 units of uh, NPH. And so what you're going to do is, what they want to know is what you're going to draw first. So you're going to draw a regular first, and your um, your that's, that mark needs to be 20 units away from the total, because when you draw it up first, hypothetically, you're going to get... Um, you're going to you're going to mark your syringe closer to that end. So what I mean by that is so the total is 60 units. So here's my total. So here's my first or here's one mark at total, my 60 units. And then since my original or the regular was drawn up first, you're actually going to have another mark at 40 units and that is where the regular would be. And the difference is right here between 40 and 60. That 20 is where the regular insulin uh, would be found. I know in reality it's all going to mix, but this is how they want you to answer that type of question. So you put a mark at the total amount, which in this instance the total is 20 units plus 40 units, which is 60 units total. And then you're going to put a, a mark at the 40 units, which is the difference between 60 and 20. Um, and that's where you make your marks. I hope you, hopefully that helps.